मणिपाल अकाडमी आफ् हयर् एजुकेशन महे मूवे घटिकोत्सव प्रथम दिन कार्यक्रम शनिवार नड़यू नवंबर हद्नेट जनरल डाक्टर नरेंद्र कुत्वा निर्देशक कमांडेंट सैनिक वैद्यकीय कॉलेज मुख्य अपयागतर भागव नवंबर हद् हत इत नड़ा ना दिन घटिकोत्सव में महिया सुमार ऐसी मंदिर व्यार्थी पदवी प्रमाण पत्र प्रदान घटिकोत्सव कार्यक्रम में महिया प्रो चास्ल डाक्टर एच एस बल्ला उपकुलपति लेफ्टिनेंट जनरल डाक्टर एम डि वेकटेश रिजिस्टर्ड डाक्टर गिरीधर किणि पी उपस्थितर भारत संशोधने के आद्य शैक्षणिक संस्थे मणिपाल अकाडमी आफ् हयर् एजुकेशन महे राष्ट्रीय शिक्षण नीति एर सवि इपिक शैक्षणिक प्रस्ताव योजन विविध अंश चर्चा समावेश हमको नवंबर हतोबर घटिकोत्सव कार्यक्रम राजीव सिंग् रघुवंशी रग् कंट्रोलर जनरल आफ् इंडिया भारत सरकार नवंबर इपत् प्रो डाक्टर प्रोफेसर डाक्टर टी जि सीताराम अध्यक्ष आल इंडिया कौनसी आफ् टेक्निकल एजुकेशन होसदेली नवंबर इपत् वनोद ईश्वर एम डि मुख्य कार्यनिर्वहणाधिकारी जियो पेमेंट्स बैंक मुंबई मुख्य अभ्यागतर भागव
are people who are suffering from procedures such as cancer and ecological malignancies and renal problems. Our new campus at Bangalore will be built at a cost of over 1,500 crores, converting as an iconic world class landmark at Bangalore. We are developing a central block of research, a CIF facility, which will have around almost 3 lakh square feet of central facility for research and development. We are looking at a new hospital block, we are also looking at a super specialty block, which is almost near completion next to this very area. And we are also looking at and developing a center for music, performing arts, and climate arts. Not only that, Maha has been committed to serving the interests of the communities around the university. The voluntary services organization BSO was created in Maha in 2007 to channelize this idea in a more organized fashion. It operates as a wholly student-led social unit within Mahe, operating under the BSO banner, students, faculty, staff, and we have been ranked amongst the best institution in Karnataka repeatedly over the last couple of years in providing Aishman Bharat care to the needy people. Our outreach and extension programs have been conducted to benefit and to benefit a large number of uh, people in the community. I am truly honored and privileged to stand before you to take you through a brief overview of my and a brief annual report. The visionary behind the inception of Manipa, esteemed late Dr. Tose Madhavan Sapai, pioneered the concept of public private partnership way back in 1953. Driven by his conviction in education as a catalyst for transformation, he had designed a world where education would be within the reach of everyone. Dr. Pai established some of the earliest professional educational institutions in the non governmental, non missionary, and self financing sector leaving an invaluable mark on the landscape of higher education in India. To us at Mahi, 2023 is a landmark year when we are celebrating the 125th birth anniversary of our beloved founder. Dr. Ramdas M. Pai, the distinguished son of Dr. K. K. Pai and the Chancellor of Mahi has steered Mahi's evolution into an international university town. He took Manipal across many campuses in India and abroad. His outstanding contribution has been recognized with very prestigious awards such as the Padma Bhushan from the Government of India and the Dalit Award from the Government of Malaysia. Mahi features multiple campuses providing quality education both in India and abroad in its world class campuses. The main campus situated in Manipal. It is complemented by off campus centers in Bangalore, Bangalore, and Jamshedpur, and also campuses in Dubai and Malaysia. The Jamshedpur campus, housing a top tier medical college, is an outcome of a pioneering private credit collaboration between two of the best known names in India, Mahi for education and Tata Steel as an industry. And this pioneering effort has been one of its the first time in its kind when we have a private private partnership in a consortium mode. And it's also very important to remember that the first ever medical school at Kathura Medical College also started as a public private partnership. Therefore, Mahi and our visionary founder and our chancellor are pioneers in their own right in establishing new practices to be looked up to. I honor and privilege to be here today on this momentous occasion. Today is a significant day in the history of eyes of all graduates who now transit from being students to professionals who are going to change the medical history. It is my honor and privilege to be here today. At the outset, I would like to express my heartfelt congratulations to all of you for your achievements. It is your hard work, dedication, and unwavering commitment which has brought you to this defining moment. I am sensitive to the fact that we have undergone countless hours of studying, sleepless nights, and rigorous training. Today is the day when all your efforts and sacrifices are being celebrated, and you all should be proud of yourselves. My 
has truly created for itself a legacy of excellence. From its humble beginnings of the Academy of General Education in 1942, founded by the great visionary, late Dr. K. M. F. I., who rightly identified illiteracy, ill health, and poverty as three major things plaguing into society. Mahe Kodya epitomizes quality and holistic education in every sense of the word. The outstanding infrastructure which I witnessed where morning, training facilities and dedicated faculty have placed at university amongst the finest in the country today, as evidenced by its rating by various national and global ranking agencies like NAP, IET, and US World. It is not surprising, therefore, that Mahe was appointed the status of an institution of eminence by the government of India in October 2020. A status very few higher education institutions in the country can boast of. My interpreting of these facts, which all of you are aware of, is to remind all those who are graduating today how fortunate and privileged you are to have studied and trained in this great institution. It is a moment for you to celebrate your achievement and success, and I congratulate you for the same. I also wish to remind you that as graduates of Mahe, do not bear the honorous responsibility of living up to the expectations that your loved ones, your teachers, and society have found you as you embark upon your chosen professional careers. My dear young brother and sister, medicine is not a career, it is a noble calling. You have chosen a path that requires empathy, compassion, and deep desire to alleviate the suffering of others. Each patient you encounter will place their trust and lies in your capable hands. Remember the impact you have on their lives will be enormous. As you are aware, we are witnessing a period of great transformation both within our country and across the globe. India's position and image within the global order today is one of a nation which is proud of its heritage, confident of its capabilities, and certain of its aspirations and goals. For our nation to achieve its aspirations and goals, it is incumbent upon each one of us to commit to the philosophy of nation first. Sometimes we tend to feel that we are very small and insignificant to have any impact on the progress of our nation. This is not true. As the educated elite of the country, it is we who are the primary drivers of growth, change, and transformation. Each one of us, through small actions in our daily lives, has the power to make a very significant difference to society.